Hi, I'm Dino Bidala, and you're watching Beauty in the East TV. You're watching Beauty and the East TV! Keep it locked, baby! <laughs> Hi, I'm Rick Khalil, and I'm here at the NYC 2010 Arab American Comedy Festival. And I'm here talking with Dina Bodalla, one of the co-founders. The festival has grown a lot. In 2003, we started out with just three shows and about 20 performers, and a few hundred people came out. And now this year, we have nine shows over five nights and over 50 performers, including... Comedians for the first time ever from the Middle East, from Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt all flew in to be in. Two from Canada came in. We have great sketch performances. I think, honestly, it's the most tickets we've ever sold. Probably close to 1,700, 1,800 tickets will be sold by the end of the festival. So it's grown a lot. I've seen the level of the comics really improve so much. The younger comics who are coming up are really much stronger than years ago. They're really good now. I know we're years from 9 11, but now I feel like a minority more than ever. I mean, every minority group says it. When something bad happens, you hope it's not one of us. Like the Nigerian guy, once again, again, the first Nigerian, like African, Bahamas, we didn't do this. But I'm like, let's see the last name. This is Muslim. Even if you're not Muslim, you know we all answer for it. Three names. I'm like, all right. First name, Umar. Umar, that could be anything. Real name, Baruch. <laughs> We got Egyptian people here from South Jersey. It's beautiful all the way out to New Jersey. Look at the support we got. We're actually here. We're only a couple blocks away from Ground Zero. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we're doing the show. Uh, who, you get, who are you here to see and uh, why you're out here? We're, we're actually here to see all of them. Actually, I don't even understand Arabic, so I hope it's a lot of English. So I'm hoping there are good uh, stand-ups over here and uh, good comedy. Welcome to this country. <laughs> Have fun, enjoy it, learn the language if you want to, I don't care. Go to school if you want, I don't care. Do whatever the fuck you I don't really care. <laughs> but don't come to this country, come up to the basketball court, and want to play soccer on it, all right? <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me today here on Beauty and the East TV. We're actually here near the ground zero. It's only a few blocks away. How does uh, your comedy still um, affect people in that sense and diffusing uh, the stereotypes? We do want to represent ourselves, you know, in a way that's separate from that incident, you know? I think it's also this is a direct example of, uh, you know, the cohesiveness and solidarity in a post 9-11 world. I mean, for instance, you know, I'm Jewish and uh, Aaron's Palestinian and, and we're in the same festival doing, you know, doing the same comedy about the same type of, of differences or actually the similarities in our cultures. And that's definitely a whole symbol of that sort of like, you know, coming together and, and falsifying of all this, all these like, you know, fake ideas of there's a hatred between Muslims and Jews and Catholics and Christians and all that. It, it, it really, uh, it really sort of like shuns that and makes it look like it's, it's not really there. It doesn't exist. And he spent a lot of time in Israel. I've spent, you know, a lot of time in in Jerusalem. And and you know, when you're on the ground there, people do get along. You know, they eat together, they hang out together. It's just the politics that separates us. So, you know, 9/11 was a tragedy for everyone uh, that's an American. So it's not like you it, it separated Muslim from Jew, from black, from white. You know, if anything, we all sort of came together. So, this festival in its seventh year, it's another opportunity to continue to sort of have something for the community. I'm actually really proud of the fact that my best friend in the whole world is Jewish. Isn't that a beautiful thing? <laughs> we up together. She's like my sister. In 20 years we've known each other. Um, and it was really cute. When we were younger, we played this game. Instead of cowboys and Indians, it was Israelis and Palestinians. <laughs> She'd come over and kick me out of my house. <laughs> important thing is um, to let people know no matter what nationality you are and especially you know of the Arabic culture that we're no different than anybody else. My parents are uh, from Cairo, I'm from Ohio, which was awesome. I actually really love growing up as an Egyptian in Ohio because I was unique there. Like, people actually cared that I was Egyptian. It wasn't until I came to New York that I realized that nobody gives a shit at all. <laughs> so, you tell somebody from a New Yorker and Egyptian, you're like, yeah, so it was a dude who made my hot dog earlier. <laughs> How's your family take you being in comedy? I didn't even tell them. They actually found out because I had been interviewed for the local paper and they read it. <laughs> and they were like, 
like, what is what is this? Or Arab parents in general, they worry and they want their kids to be secure and and have money and like these the artistic careers don't guarantee that so they worry and they don't like it but the more you gain success the more they're okay with it like people knock our, our culture for being so hard on artists it really any shock it's like oh you know i'm done with school and instead of you know pursuing a career in law i'm going to you know tell hummus jokes for the next 20 years my comedy was mostly from just the real stuff that happened growing up uh, in an arab household and as a palestinian in this country man all the funny shit that happens all the time is just the uh, regular stuff i mean just i don't know if you guys could tell Number one thing I get asked is, "Egyptian? Could you walk like an Egyptian?" Women love that. Could you walk? Does that mean Egyptian have to walk like an Egyptian? I think it's really important to get more of us in the industry. You know, everyone doesn't have to be a comedian. You could be an actor. You could be behind the camera, in front, producing, writing. But the more of us involved in the media and entertainment industry, ultimately, will do wonders to change our image in America to get us fairly and accurately defined the way that we want, our, the way that we should be, to be honest with you. So we need more of us in the business because we're the ones that need to tell our story. We don't need other people to tell our story. It's great when they do, but it's much more accurate when we do it. I'm Maria Shahada. My name is Iman Morgan. I'm Jimmy Gossin. I'm Mina Demian. I'm Mike Pataya. My name is Aaron Cater, a.k.a. Harun Abakudeir. I'm Noel Grabley. Hey, Tony, you're watching Beauty and the Beast TV.